Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage Automation. My name is Oren Martirosian and I'm going to show you how to import your Amazon orders into Sage. So what's Excel to Sage? Well, it's the final piece of the Sage puzzle. It's what you need for all your integration needs with Sage. It caters for databases from MySQL, SQL Server, as well as e-commerce. In this case, I'm going to show you the Amazon import, but it does eBay, Shopify, and so on. And it links into various different web shops, billing systems, EDI systems, as well as being able to import stuff from iPhones and iPads and all the normal file formats like Excel, CSV, and so on. So you can use it for all your major day-to-day -day transactions and it brings in both static information and transactional information. So on the left-hand side you can see things like customer supplies and products, but also sales orders, purchase orders, product invoices, journals and so on. And it also works for the charity sector. It's also got a log file, so in case it hits any problems, it's very informative in terms of, you know, um, giving you uh, clues as to where your data is wrong and you can then just go and fix that and rerun the import. So Amazon imports are um, quite uh, detailed and uh, here I've got the columns that uh, would come from an Amazon export. But uh, what you will need to do before you import it is to do some lookups. So Amazon would use their own SKU and obviously Sage will have its own product code. So what we have the ability to do with all our imports is to have very powerful lookups. So in this case I'm showing an example of a product lookup but we can also use things like fulfillment addresses so that when the order comes in it can then get automatically shipped to the, to the, to the um, relevant uh, fulfillment center. So let's look at this in uh, practice. So here's the Amazon CSV file that I've imported and I've just saved that uh, in my folder. And the only thing I need to do is just literally go in here and click the Amazon button. In sales orders, I haven't got anything in here at the moment, they're, they're blank. So all I'll do is I'll just press the Amazon button and this little black box appears. Uh, and this black box is basically telling me that it started importing the Amazon sales orders. It will go and have a look at the CSV file. It'll then look at the uh, product lookups and all the fulfillment lookups uh, as appropriate. Uh, what you need to do is leave this black box on uh, because that signifies that it's doing something. And after it has finished, uh, a notepad file will pop up in a second showing us all the Amazon orders that have been imported into Sage. Uh, so what you do is you read that log file just in case there are any errors uh, that may have been encountered during the import uh, and uh, having done that then all you have to do is just go and check it in Sage and here it is. So here's my log file and what it's done is it's gone through, it's found the file and it's now going down. Let's have a quick look. It has imported 50, invo 50 orders into Sage. So let's go and have a look at that. So if I now just go and refresh that. Here we are. Here are all my Excel to Sage Automation Amazon orders. And if I go and have a look at this one for Jamie Murray, I can see Jamie Murray's bought a calculator, a printing type. And if I exploded that, I can see what the product was, what the price was. Uh, I can see things like uh, identifiers. I can see things like the addresses, uh, as well as any customer order numbers or order numbers from Amazon that will help me track it back into that system if I needed to. So dead easy. Just download the CSV and press one button. So what are the benefits? Well, it's very easy to set up and use. Typically, it'll take us less than 15 minutes to set it up and there's a free 30 day trial. Uh, the software is uh, sold on an annual license plan and for that you get access to all the new features that are added to it on an annual basis as well as free software upgrades so that you can upgrade your system ahead of your Sage upgrade to make sure you've got business continuity. You also get email and remote access support from our uh, uh, support team. Being a valued customer, you also get discounts on our other solutions, things like mobile to Sage, which allow you to front end Sage with an iPhone or an iPad or a web portal. Uh, we have EDI to Sage to allow you to uh, link your Sage system to retailers, major retailers like Tesco's, Asda's, Morrison's and so on. And we've also got Re Sage report scheduler, which allows you to uh, run reports outside of normal business hours so that they can be emailed to you uh, overnight, for example. We've also got a range of credit control software, um, Doc Hyperlink being the key one, which allows you to send a statement out and for customers to just click on a hyperlink to download their copy uh, statements. But we've got lots and lots and lots of solutions and I would uh, 
urge you to have a look at our website for further details. Thank you very much for your time and interest in our Amazon orders import using Excel to Sage. Um, my name is Aaron Martirosian and please feel free to uh, contact me to arrange either a free trial or to discuss your requirements in more detail. Thank you.